Hi, this is Shui with a review of the Nike React 270 Max, Nike Air Max 270 React, Air 270 React. I keep getting confused about the order of the adjectives for this shoe, but I feel that this is the best combination of Max Air and React Foam. In fact, uh, we've had uh, uh, Vapor Max and all kinds of Air Maxes, but this 270 Max, at least the one used in this 270 React, uh, runner. I think this is the best one there is. Uh, compared to the same 270 Air Max used in the uh, expensive models like the LeBron 17s, uh, this thing it gets soft when you're uh, when you're pin when you have pinpoint landing or pressure. It just it's it's really too soft. But overall, if you're landing on your foot flatly, it's very hard. So it's a very strange, a strange combination. Here, it's the opposite. You can feel it not entirely collapsing when you're uh, landing on sp specific points or parts and at the same time if you're landing on your foot flatly you can feel the Air Max working in tandem with the React Foam at the core yes it's more like an Air Max 2 rather than the whole place being covered with air soles and this actually works nicely the React Foam and the Max Tube so it provides a nice ride at the same time great impact protection and also uh, when you're taking the first step you feel the cushion cradling your foot uh, on the forefoot, this is the highlight of this shoe. We have not seen React shoes with sometimes even lunar foam, lunar loan foam shoes. We feel like I feel like the forefoot has always been neglected. If they have a full length React, you feel the React at the heel, but pretty much uh, not really much, minimal or barely anything on the forefoot, even though it's thick. Here, it's not super thick. It's not super high off the ground, but the React foam is there, getting the job done. And partly, maybe it's because it's got so many impact guidance or impact separation uh, dikes or rivers, I guess. Uh, these little things actually do the job in terms of spreading the shock exhaustion, the shock or the impact. And at the same time, it, it, it carves out a lot of excess material uh, of the outsole and even in the midsole. So it provides, uh, it helps the shoe become even more lightweight. The nodules are pretty thick. So they should be providing you with some durable, um, I guess, uh, lifespan, whether you're walking around or jogging around or running in them. <laughs> They're very flexible. And at the same time, the React Foam on the forefoot, it's the best, softest uh, foam that you, you, have, you have experienced among the Nike React type of running shoes or even basketball shoes. Uh, recently, we've had uh, the BB Knicks, which had a lot of React Foam on the heel. Uh, which I felt that that should have been on the forefoot. This is what it feels like. Uh, instead, that shoe had this and another layer of React foam at the heel, making it really high and clunky and giving you that sinking feeling. So this is a good balance. I wish they would make a basketball shoe like this instead of uh, the LeBron 17s, which is overall very firm and very uh, high off the ground. The fit itself, uh, size 9 fits me nice, so I would say go true to size. Uh, the upper material is a little strange, scratchy, hardened lycra type of material uh, they have extra fuse layers uh, layers and layers of fuse to provide that uh, lockdown and I guess uh, uh, durable uh, resistance when you're uh, when you're moving side to side or back to forward back to forward uh, the the ankle padding there's very minimal but sufficient padding to provide heel slippage and the heel cup is very fairly large and firm and these little Achilles pads, they're not sharp or pointy, but rigid enough so they provide the support while not chafing into your skin or um, just providing you with any sort of discomfort. It weighs only about 340 grams. Uh, I feel that it should be lighter. Despite what the digits suggest, it feels even lighter than that. So that's definitely a plus. Uh, and they come up with different kinds of materials for the upper, uh, but choose whatever you want but if you're not sensitive about what the shoe look like and you're for all about the comfort or the performance you go for the lowest the lowest price one for me this was uh, on sale compared to other fancy ones and this looks just fine to me purple is one of my favorite colors uh, there's a good heel to toe drop but at the same time it's not crazy uh, avalanche type of uh, crazy drop there's no gyro drop it's it's nice yeah, the, the, the max to Luna, uh, react foam transition, some people say it feels too mushy here and it feels a little bit too rigid on the heel, but 
for me, it feels like, especially when you had the LeBron 17s with the stiff as hard, stiff as rock, max foam, and not a lot of cushioning on the fourth. But this is actually a fantastic combination. Uh, I wish they would implement this type of foam density, uh, density, this type of density react foam on the forefoot and uh, maybe a, a little bit, a bit of a slimmer 270 max on the heel to come up with a decent basketball shoes next time. Uh, meanwhile, this is great. Um, although you, it might be a little bit risky to play hoop in them because you know you might sprain your ankle. But uh, personally, I'm gonna go around shooting some hoops in these, and of course, it's great for walking around and great for jogging as well.